go. Yo, yo, yo. We're back again with another reaction video, and we're going to be reacting to the killer phone call horror story animated. That sounded weird. That sound I think he okay? did that pretty good, yeah. By the channel Midnight Screams. The link is down in the description. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. It is important to support the channels that you love. You're damn right it is, Ash. And you know what else is important to do? Hmm. Even support those channels more that you love, just like and us. And support my shirt. Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, if you click on the link down below in the description and throw it down through Streamlabs, you get to pick one of the next videos that we react to. We are back to 48-hour reactions, so within two days of you sending the request out, we'll have it reacted to. Um, just There are some rules, though. Keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video's link the title of the video, and your email. In case something happens, goes wrong, we can communicate And you with also you. have to follow me on all my stuff as well. Yes. If you don't, then we just might not do it. It just doesn't work and everything blows up. Yeah, like the be. computer literally freaking... You know how many computers we've had to go... Like, we probably this is probably like our 829th computer. It is. We actually It built, gets expensive. We built a house out of the broken computers in the backyard. For yeah, cats. exactly. Mm -hmm. It's great. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, let's check out this video, the killer phone call. My name is Emily. I'm 16, and I live with my dad in a small house. But my dad is always out because of his work. I don't have many friends. My only one is Ashley. She always comes to my house to spend night together. We were always watching some movies on TV till someday when we felt bored and we began thinking of something more exciting. A weird idea popped up in Ashley's mind. Why don't we call a random number and tell him unexpected thing? She said. I was surprised by the idea, but it sounded good for overcoming boredom. We called Frank the number calling. and told the woman on the other side that there is somebody who is interested in her and follows her. Then we called another line and we told the man that his son has lost his way. To this point, the whole thing was just a joke. But surprises were on their way when we called the final number. And I told oh the man God. who answered, I know what you did. The man frighteningly lost his mind on me. I was shocked and hung up immediately. Ashley tried to comfort me by saying that maybe he's betrayed his wife and is afraid his secret will get revealed. That night, Ashley went back Dude, home, what if this but happened? I wasn't able to sleep. <clears throat> At 3 a.m., the phone rang. And when I picked up, I heard the same man's voice telling me... Uh -oh. Tell me what you've seen, or I'm gonna kill you. I was afraid. Hours passed really slowly till the sun rose. I called Ashley and asked her to come to stay with me that night. You didn't call your parents? And when she came, I explained everything to her. While we were speaking together, I heard steps approaching the house. We felt horribly frightened. When we hear the man's voice saying, You won't manage to escape. I know you are there. Oh God. Creepy. How did he know my house's address? Oh he tried to break God. the door, and we didn't know what to do. Ashley called the police, and we hid behind the couch. Should I? The animation's even creepy. For real. Like some bald dude coming up to me like the that. The man entered the house holding a knife like a in his hand. Johnson this skinnier Dwayne Johnson moment, trying to kill you. the police arrived. The man tried to escape, but he didn't manage. Later, we learned that that man is a murderer and is accused of a lot of murder crimes. We thank the police for helping us and catching him. After this incident, Ashley and I learned that some jokes may lead to a complete disaster. Yeah. So... I do not think that we're gonna repeat that again. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I hope I, you enjoyed you the story. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yes, go subscribe to the channel. Have you ever prank called somebody? Let's hear your story about it. 
Like, oh, like yeah. as if you don't know this. I do know it. As if I'm not, like, the master of prank calling. She loves prank calling people. <laughs> you even had that bot that sounded like something else, and then it gets into an argument for you. Dude. You don't get to do any yes, of that. Yes, we used to have the video on YouTube, and now it's gone, I think. Is prank no, calling places... it's not gone. It's actually... It's actually still on our channel. It's prank calling places you didn't work at, right? No. The... The... No. The, um, or wait, well, okay, so what we did, what I did was, you were always working, so I was home yeah. alone, and I'm like, hmm, wonder if this motherfucker will cheat on me, so I, <laughs> <laughs> so I went on, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you remember that? Yes. So I went on, you probably, yeah, well, you seemed to like it, so, whatever, but anyway, I prank called him with like a fake thing and it was whatever. I don't know if it was some girl. No, it was a guy talking about like, uh, you know, uh, tapes and uh, something. I don't remember what it was, but something about like, I don't want to say the word on here. Okay. Can Just you... tapes, you know, okay, you know yes. like SEX tapes. And um, you're like, oh, whatever. And you just hung up. But anyway, like. I did that to like my dad. I did it, not the same one. I did it. I did one to you, my grandma, my dad, my brother, and then I called an actual pizza place and I had a pizza one to say, "Hey, this is this pizza place," and then they're like, "Yeah, this is this pizza place," and they're like arguing, and then I did it to a Chinese restaurant. Oh my God! Yes. To <laughs> it's still on our channel. That is awesome. Maybe we'll share it. Maybe it's on private. Maybe we'll share it in like somehow maybe like the best bits or something we'll figure it out but um yeah and then we would do like the um prank calling jobs that we don't actually have and then i when i was when i was about 13 no i was probably 14 14 or 15 my friend and i called a pizza place i don't remember which one it was in red wing yeah because we made sure to call it from far away. We're right, like, right. We're not gonna... So my mom and dad were working, right? And my friend comes over. And her name's Natasha. She was the one I hung out with a couple of years ago. Okay. And um, we, we're we always doing stupid shit, right? Well, one day we're like, well, let's just prank call a pizza place and order a pizza. So we order a pizza with every single topping yeah. on it. I'm telling you, every topping. They, they like... They called back and they're like, are you sure you want every single topping? And we're like, yeah, every single topping. Like One they part could of not. everything, don't you get? They could not figure it out. They're like, like they asked us like five times. They were so confused as to why we wanted every single topping they had. And we're like, just put every topping on it. We want all the toppings. We're like, we'll take a, some chicken. We'll take some soda. We'll take like the desserts. We want a large pizza with everything on it. We want like, we wanted like everything on the menu, right? It was like three hundred dollars. <laughs> it was me and her. All of a sudden, she goes home, and I get a call from um, the cops. Like, like two hours later, and I'm like, and I had a little Motorola track phone at the time. Yeah. And that's what we used to call, and so I'm like downstairs in the basement, and like, cause me and my sister had rooms down in the in the lowest level of the basement, and. Um, I'm like, okay, so I'm just like doing my own thing and I get a call and I'm, I, I think I answered it or I got a voicemail. I can't remember. And so I remember being really scared and I was like, oh my God, I'm in so much trouble right now. And so, cause it was the cops and they're like, or no, it was the pizza place. And they're like, we tracked your number and we we know, we know that you, we sent someone out there to get the pizza and it wasn't even a real address. Nobody even lived there. And I'm like wow, I'm in so much trouble. And I remember my mom and dad getting home and um, I wouldn't answer the cops. I, I refused. I took the battery out of my phone. I took the SIMS card out of my phone. I'm like, I'm not getting in trouble for this. And I was pissed at my friend because she was equally half of this. And I'm like, if I go down, she's going down. Right, we're I am going not down. just going to get in trouble for this by myself. And... Um, her and I, if we didn't stop hanging out, we would have been in trouble with the law more than once. So Ooh, I, it, we we got in trouble. We had to go. Makers, huh? We were we were fucking wild, dude. We but we did the, all of that in the the. I refused to answer the cops, 
And um, I think they left a voicemail, and they're like, we're going to get a hold of your parents. And I'm like, oh, and my mom and dad were at home. So I was like, well, I guess they're not home. So if they call, I'll just erase it from the... <laughs> so... You're going to hide this. So no matter my... what. I don't care how many bodies. <laughs> so my parents got home. And somehow, it wasn't too long later, somehow, they're like, you know, you know what you did. And I got in so much trouble. And I had to go to court with her because obviously, I think... I don't know how she found... I don't know how they found out she was involved. I'm pretty sure I just told my parents what happened. They told the cops. And the cops called her parents. But um, we had to go to court and each pay like $50. My <clears throat> my dad paid it for me. And then we also had to do four hours of community service Ooh. each. And I remember her being so mad at me afterwards. She would not talk to me. And we were like enemies after that. Damn. Yeah, yeah. We went a friendship over this prank call. Yeah. Okay. But we learned our lesson and we never prank, well, we never prank called anybody to cause that kind of, like, a a loss of money or whatever, like, type thing. Right. Um, but yeah, her and I were wild. We literally, we went to Walmart one time. This is, like, my favorite story. We went to Walmart one time and it was Christmas season, right? And they got all they got all the Christmas trees lined up, you know, in that back room. They're all lined up. And and at that time, we were younger, so we were like smaller, you know, like shorter. It's so like these trees looked massive. Like there was probably a tree that was like the size of ours, but two feet taller. It was big. And I remember we took the handicap. <laughs> We took the handicap carts and we were riding around on them, right? We both had them. <laughs> and we were back in the, with the trees, right? I don't know. We just wanted to have fun. So we go and we're sitting there Fair riding enough. them around. And we're like, hmm, which tree do we like the most? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm like, I, I don't know what happened. But I somehow meant to back up the, 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 the chair, the cart thing. And I went forward, and I ran into the tree, and the tree, all of a sudden, I see the tree coming down on me, and I'm like, oh, shit, no. And then she laughed so hard, she pissed her pants oh in the middle of Walmart. So we go in the bathroom. We go in the bathroom, and she, she's, put, she's like, spreading her legs underneath the air dryer, and I'm like, Oh my god, because anybody could walk in at any moment, right? Trying to get it dry, had, though. She had to dry it, and it was just the funniest story, man. Like, if That's you awesome. were there, if you would have been there, you would have... I probably would have pissed my pants I'm, in that aisle, too. I'm pretty sure I peed my pants, too, laughing, but it just wasn't as bad. Like, I, like, stopped it before it, like, you know? Imagine the janitor walking down that aisle. Why is there so much pee? Well... It's not like we, like, I know, it's not I'm like that, joking. but, you know, you do lose control, and you're laughing that hard, you lose control of your bladder, and, like, she just lost it, and then I did a little bit, too, and we just did the walk of shame. We got, I think we got, I think we got kicked out of Walmart. I don't remember, but I know we got Damn, in trouble. Damn, you guys getting kicked out and yelled Dude, at the cops? What is Dude, her this? and I, I had friends, I was, I hung out with so many people, but her and I if we kept hanging out, we would have been in trouble with the law. Like, more than just the one time, we would have been in trouble. Because her and I were wild together. She, You think about how I get when I have that, like, crazy, like, I want to fuck shit up mood, you know? And, like, yeah. she's like, I don't know if she's like that anymore, but she was like that too. So our energies together, we were crazy. It's like a tornado and a volcano. <laughs> like... I, and it's funny because, like, if I bring up those stories with my, like, to my parents now, they laugh at it. Like, my dad thinks it's the funniest shit ever because it's, like, I'm sure he looks at it as, like, look at the things he did as a kid. Dude, your dad did the craziest shit as a kid. My dad was a wild, like, my my dad was probably more wild than 99.5% of people. Like, he was crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> like, almost dying and stuff, you know? But, um, so I'm sure he looked back at it like, my kid was pretty damn innocent. Like, yeah. you're just prank calling pizza places and like, right. you know, 
Right, 100%. But did you prank call any places and get in trouble or anything? You know what? I prank called places as a kid, and I did not get in trouble. I prank called somebody with the last name Cox and asked if Harry was there. And when she started calling for Harry, I couldn't do it. So I could not believe it. I'm like, there's no way. You really did that? Yeah, I really did that. And she's like, Harry! And I, she said it like three times. I just cut because I started laughing. There's no way I could hold my composure. There's another time I prank called somebody and I convinced them that they won a million dollars and they were going to pick it up across the street from me. You're mean. <laughs> You're so mean. This is Bill Bob, Bill Bob, and he just won a million dollars. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, guys, leave um, comments below of stories that you have because they're super fun to read, especially if they're good ones. You guys are proud of them. Yeah. Throw them down there. Everybody will enjoy them. Another big thing that I did as a kid, I was a wild kid, but I feel like I was, like, I, I'm full of energy all the time, like... I am. I mean, like, as I get older, I have a kid and I'm not as whatever. But if I you get me alone without my child, <laughs> I could get pretty crazy. But um, I, w- I would literally, I was, when I hung out with my brother or, like, our friends or my friends, depending on who, I was, like, ten times as crazy with them and I know me and my brother would always get into trouble always we would break into people's barn sheds we would we'd go steal stuff out of their garages we Jesus <laughs> we would me and him ding dong ditched like all the time all the time on Halloween we'd ding dong ditch we'd get together with the neighborhood kids and we'd be knocking on every door ringing everyone's doorbell running away and like um then going back a couple minutes later, like, I don't know how long, like, at least a decent time so they wouldn't cut. And then we'd do it again. And then we, um, what else did we do? Halloween, we'd literally trick-or-treat at the same houses, like, three, four times until they caught us. And they're like, <laughs> stop coming back here. And we'd get in trouble. But we, were, we just didn't care. Like, we were, we were crazy. We made fun of, we were in Big Sister, Big Brother, Big Sister, like, the program. Yeah. <laughs> Quit, and me and my brother made the lady quit her job because we were so mean to her. She, my brother especially. I wasn't. A, I wasn't like a mean person. My brother was more mean. I was just the one kind of feeding into <clears throat> it. Like I fed off of it, and I'm like, yeah, ho, ho. like he'd be like, she'd buy snacks, right? And we go over to her. <laughs> we go over. To, <laughs> we go over to her. Um building where she had like because what we would do is me and my brother we were like lonely because we had just moved to the new town that we live or the city that we lived in and um we didn't have friends at that time so my parents got us in a big brother big sister and we were trying to find like a a big brother and big sister whatever and while we waited we had to meet with this lady because she had to meet us and get to know what we were like and and (laughs) we were assholes we (laughs) We would Assholes. Check. Talent, my brother, he would be like, she'd buy snacks for us and she'd give us chips, right? And my brother would be like, can I have another one? And soda, right? And he'd be like, can I have more? Can I have more? And he, she'd be like, yeah, fine. So he'd eat two and then he'd be like, can I have another one? And she's like, no. He's like, come on, man. You don't need all these chips. <laughs> she was like 300 pounds. <laughs> <You're> terrible. <laughs> and he'd keep doing it every time we went there. He'd make fun of her, and like he was so mean. <laughs> and then I can imagine your brother doing all this, though. She quit her job. Ask my mom and dad. Ask. I don't know if my dad knows, but my mom for sure. She told us she quit her job because me and Talon were so oh my bad. God. <laughs> she said, like, "I didn't sign up for this. Uh, uh-uh, I'm done." <laughs> we were naughty, and I remember I got a big sister after that. And the girl, after, like, two times of hanging out with me, she's, like, the the lady, the one lady the, that with chips, my brother, she was, like, the the person who controls who you get linked up with. Yeah. And um, so she called my mom. I think she... And I'm pretty sure she called me because I kind of remember so the she conversation. she that stuff she after? Ca- she, she was, like, the manager to whatever you call it. Like, she got kids together with the bigger brothers and big sisters <clears throat> whatever yep um so sh- this was around the same time this was within like a week or two okay. after so i only hung out with the- it was probably two weeks because i think i hung out with her like once every week and my brother did with the guy like a couple times it didn't last long i'm telling you this shit only i had two people and so did he and it only lasted like a month because <laughs> we were so bad but i remember the lady calling me the managed lady manager later and she's like 
Um, so your big sister kind of wants to find somebody else to... <laughs> your big sister don't want to be your sister no more. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she don't want to be... She doesn't think you're a good match, and yeah. she's going to find somebody that matches her better. And I got into this to help kids out, not destroy my self-esteem. <laughs> I hated it anyway. Holy shit. It was shit. stupid. It was embarrassing. I'm like, I don't need a goddamn big sister. I got Listen. my brother and my actual sister and my family, and I don't want this. This is weird. Mom, why did you do this to us? And, and then wish. my mom had fucking Jesus lovers come I to our wish. house and teach us about Jesus. I wish I was enrolled in that program as a kid. Oh my god. Do you really? Yeah, dude. Miguel, the kid across the street, my best friend growing up, he had a big brother, big sister in that group. And he's like, yeah, they took me to Subway. I'm thinking, you shit. I've yeah. Subway in like three they years. Brought, they brought us to the blast. That lady did. She'd bring us to the blast all the time to get, hold on, honey, to get ice cream. It was like, like multiple times a week she'd bring us. It was like two, three times a week. <clears throat> and um, I remember there were, there was somebody getting married, and I remember there's like a photographer, and me and my brother were like destroying them, like we're like throwing these jokes around left and right, and like <laughs> the, I don't remember they were like we were with them, like it was an event type thing, and me and my brother were just like destroying it and saying the meanest stuff, and like I don't know, we were terrible. That's all right, hon. That's all right. You're great now. You don't do that stuff. But so. my, um, my, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my parents. You missed that part. But my parents literally sent Jesus people to our house and taught us about Jesus. <laughs> you did it help? No. I hated it. We had to watch the freaking movie. Right. <laughs> I think hell is just watching, like, literally Christian, like, chant, like, TV channels or something, just like on Family Guy. It was Guy. a movie it's be the worst. where he got hung to the cross and stuff, and like. Oh, they made you watch that. The yeah. actual movie, okay. Yeah, and then like, like the Passion of the Christ or something. I like that. remember being like, I don't fucking know what it was called. What like I care? God. I had to watch that movie too. Really? Did yeah. they come to your house? No, nah, my mom just played it. Are you serious? Yeah. You're lying. Nope, I remember which movie you're talking about. I'm pretty sure it's the I mean, like, of Christ. Guys, I was into I was in church and everything. Like I was actually a really big church goer and I loved it. And I didn't it's not like I didn't like Jesus or anything. It's just that I didn't like him coming to my house and teaching me when I wanted to do my own thing. Like, leave me alone. Get out of my fucking house, dude. Yeah, I could be playing with Play Doh right now. I could literally be this. doing anything other than this right now. And I was really disappointed. Alright. But every Sunday and Wednesday I went to church. For a good solid probably five years. That's impressive. I yeah, not have done I it was that a long. really good kid. Well, good. I remember my parents being really proud of me every night. My dad would come, you know, or every Sunday my parents would go with, and then well, not every, but a lot. And then, um, can you not? God. <laughs> and then every Wednesday. <laughs> every Wednesday. Um, my parents, you're distracting me. Stop. Every Wednesday, my parents would be like, I was church. And my dad's like, did you learn anything new? And I was like, yeah, I learned this, this, uh, what are they called? Fucking verses in the Bible. Yeah. And I had so many, dude. You got like little prizes for it. Okay. But I was really Satan behind all that. <laughs> Literally, I was. The prizes would have made it worth it. It's all yeah. about that. All right. Anyway. Guys, um, if you now like... I have a left, so I mean, there's not. Uh, yeah, that, that that definitely changed. Guys, if you like that video, go and subscribe to the channel. That was midnight. That is midnight screams. The link will be down below in the descripto. And see you in the next video. Peace see out, guys. you. I don't want to be you.